Five Points as a neighborhood is right in the middle of the city. We're in the center of everything, all the happenings. It's one of the few places in Denver where you get to see all different types of people. One of the most diverse communities in the country. Five Points has a lot of black culture. There's a strong black African American history that comes from here, but also this musically rich kind of neighborhood as well. Music in Five Points was like you could never imagine. It was like the Harlem of the West, you know, from James Brown to Coltrane, Dizzy Gillespie, Duke Ellington, Billy Holiday had their chance to rock the stage. They would play downtown, but of course, back in the day, downtown was an area where blacks couldn't stay. This neighborhood here was one of the neighborhoods that blacks could stay in. So it's a very jazz-rich area, especially with the Rossonian right across the street. Oh, the Rossonia was the place to be. There's a number of restaurants that are here right now. There's a number of restaurants that are actually opening up. Walton Street Cafe is Southern food, so they have lots of fried okra, fried fish. Walton Street Cafe is our take on a Southern cuisine with a West Indies background. Different little coffee shops, pizza place, um, bakeries. Rosenberg's Coffee at the Point. Coffee at the Point, we're a 3,000 square foot, I call it a coffee and wine lounge. Lots and lots of craft breweries in Five Points. Woods Boss, they make exceptional beers. We have the only sour beer bar in the world. I like to refer people to see what Welton has to offer. I always refer them to Spangalang because we are the perfect love story. Food and booze go together, you know? You could step outside and just get this rich level of education from the historical markers that outline Welton Street. You can stop a couple blocks south of us down at the Blair Caldwell Library and it's almost like a, a museum in that space. The second floor has like a history of black Denver, very informational display, so that people could kind of get a sense of um, who's made this place great. Justina Ford, her house is now the Black American West Museum. She was one of the first black physicians. She actually delivered babies at a house that's right down the street one of the only black museums in the country that deals with the American West that is rooted in the black tradition. Very few people know about the black cowboy. The Urban Sanctuary is a wellness center in Five Points. I wanted to create a place that was very um, welcoming to people of color so they could come and do yoga and start to learn about different types of healing such as Reiki, energy work, um, recalibration, and so I created Urban Sanctuary. The barbershop's been here for over 50 years. Just old school. You just go in, get your hair done, nothing fancy. <laughs> we have lots of live music venues um, that give you an opportunity to get out and to sit and have a meal while listening to music or go to a a full-on concert. Every May we have the Five Points Jazz Festival, which is my favorite festival. We're talking nine to ten stages of free live music. People have no idea how many jazz artists are right here in Denver. There's a food truck event that's in this neighborhood. The Juneteenth Festival's in this neighborhood. We celebrate the Civil Rights Movement. Food, games, vendors, and that is the way to celebrate my blackness, okay? I celebrate my blackness every day, but it's a way for the community to gather. We had a lot of people travel here for Juneteenth. There's another kind of rhythm to Five Points that you don't find any other place. If you're looking for food, if you're looking for events, like Five Points has everything. Five Points is a great family-friendly destination. People should come to Five Points because there's no place like it. <laughs>